Hi, Texas. Thanks for tuning in here to CBS 19 plus as we go in depth into a forecast and it's a forecast that features the best chance for widespread rain that we've seen here in East Texas going all the way back to before summer. And one of the reasons for that is the upper level wind flow. We've got our warm high pressure system that will be bringing us some 90 degree highs Friday and Saturday. It begins to move away. It retreats back into Mexico and a storm system sets up in the northern plains with a cold front attached to it that will be draped and dragged all the way back through the Rockies. As this storm system moves by, that frontal boundary drops into East Texas. We've got a fair amount of moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico. That's fuel for rain and thunderstorms, and it all comes together for the rain starting at some point on Sunday, likely Sunday night and into the day Monday. And the reason for the heavy rain is the slow moving nature of that low pressure area. As you saw from Saturday to Monday, it only moves a couple hundred miles. That is it. The influence of the high pressure system not going to be felt here. The flow is out of the northwest, allowing that front to drop in here. Several disturbances around that front, keeping rain chances in our forecast until Wednesday morning. Then we will dry out for the final few days of September. 30% chance of rain on Friday, a little bit in the morning, maybe a little bit in the afternoon over deep east Texas. So some scattered showers. I don't think it interferes with high school football Friday night. Saturday is likely a dry day. You might be able to say there's a 20% chance of rain, but just looking at the data, it does not look like it's going to rain. Sunday, an 80% chance of rain by evening. 60% chance of rain on Monday and a 30% chance of rain on Tuesday. So the likely time frame for rain is on Sunday with an 80% chance. In fact, there's an 80% chance of at least one one hundredth of an inch. There's at least a 50% chance of having more than one inch of rain out of this Sunday into Monday. Then as we head into Wednesday and Thursday again, things should dry out. Here's future skycast. We're picking this up Friday morning. Clouds moving into East Texas, scattered showers and thunderstorms from Springfield, Missouri through Tulsa back to Oklahoma City all the way back to Lawton. That little complex moves in. This is the reason that we have the rain for the first half of the day and then some scattered showers over deep East Texas later in the afternoon. Heading into Saturday, a lot of sunshine Saturday morning with temperatures warming into the mid 90s. Fall arrives Saturday at 1:49 a.m. So the first day of fall is going to feel like summer with those high temperatures in the mid 90s. Then Saturday night into Sunday morning, we'll watch that complex of thunderstorms drop in here. Could be some gusty winds on the leading edge of that, especially overnight into Sunday morning. That batch of rain will slide into Louisiana, will reload the atmosphere and bring in more rain by Sunday night. Look at the rainfall outlook over the next seven days, and this again is something we have not seen since going all the way back into early June. The purples here, they correspond with one and a three quarters to two inches of rainfall. So if we break that down and we'll go the next two days, so that's going to be the rest of Thursday and Friday. This is picking up on some thunderstorms that will move into parts of North Texas uh, later on tonight and the Friday morning chance for some showers and thunderstorms. When we look at Saturday, uh, this is going to be Saturday night into Sunday and it picks up on that hundredth of an inch to maybe uh, a half inch of rainfall. But Sunday and Monday is when things really get going. That's the bulk of the rain that we'll see across the area. And Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll still have a little bit of rain, maybe some drizzle left over as that front pushes through. So next seven days all totaled up. You're looking at generally across the area at least one and a half to one and three quarters of an inch of rain. Rainfall reports since September 1st, and we need the rain. We are running behind about three quarters of an inch in Tyler, more than an inch in Longview, a little on the surplus side in Lufkin, but we've got to make up a yearly deficit here in Tyler. So this rain coming up uh, late in the weekend and early next week will really cut into that deficit. We might be able to shave about two inches of of deficit off of that uh, 2023 deficit that we're running right now, which is almost getting up closer to eight inches of rain and it's coming at the right time. New drought index coming out here. This is going to be extreme to exceptional drought across East Texas with severe drought covering the rest of East Texas. So this definitely got worse since last week. This is last week. We had parts of the area in moderate drought and severe drought 
and most of it was in extreme drought with very little exceptional drought. But again, exceptional drought expanding northward. So this rain is coming at the right time. All right, looking ahead to Friday morning, mostly cloudy skies. Shower can't be ruled out. We'll only drop to 71 in Camp County. Maybe up at Dangerfield about 71, up toward Mount Pleasant about 71 degrees. We take a look at our central counties from Jefferson, Marshall over in Harrison County. Temperatures in the low 70s, Longview down to 73 under mostly cloudy skies. Mostly cloudy in Tyler, 76. Jacksonville, mostly cloudy, 74. Athens and Palestine, mid 70s. Maybe a few more stars in the sliver of the moon out over in parts of Anderson County. Mostly cloudy in parts of deep east Texas overnight. 72 at Nacogdoches, 74 at Groveton, Crockett, 75. We'll see overnight lows around Hemp Hill at 71 degrees. So it will be a warm night. How about that wind and the wind gusts on Friday? Sustained winds out of the south roughly at about three to seven miles an hour. Those are sustained. The gusts, the averaged three second gusts will top out around 13 miles an hour in the afternoon. Tomorrow's high temperatures, upper 80s. Again in Camp County, back into Franklin County, you'll see temperatures also in the upper 80s and upper 80s out to the northeast. Sulphur Springs up to 90 if you're watching us from Hopkins County. Mineola 91 tomorrow, Gilmer 89. Tyler and Longview 91 with mostly cloudy skies. Again, a few scattered showers are possible. Cloudy skies over in Carthage, 91 degrees. Deep East Texas, partly cloudy to partly sunny skies, 93 at Hemp Hill. Nacogdoches, 92. Crockett, 94. Groveton, 94. Palestine, around 92. And Jacksonville, also up to 92 degrees. All right, let's talk about the forecast relative humidity. It's always highest in the morning. Of course, that's when the temperature is going to be the coolest and the dew point will almost match that. So a lot of times you'll have high relative humidities. In fact, we see it in the upper 90s at Crockett and Groveton. That could be indicative of some fog. But notice the moisture starting to ramp up here as we head into Saturday. Afternoon relative humidities will be in the 50 60 percentile range by Sunday morning. This is some moist air setting the stage for that rain Sunday afternoon. Here's our Bella Scott White Texas Spine Joint Hospital 7 day forecast. We'll call it hit and miss rain on Friday, a 30% chance and a high of 91. Fall equinox arrives Saturday morning at 149, 95 for the high, an 80% chance of rain Sunday, a stormy afternoon and a high of 90, 83 with widespread thunderstorms Monday. They'll linger into parts of the day Tuesday, and then we will dry out with temperatures in the upper 80s Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Morning lows will be in the 60s. Thanks for watching CBS 19 Plus.